Right, now we're here, it's Boxing Day by the way, welcome to Boxing Day, we've been driving for about 10 hours, had a little bit of sleep in the car, um, we're now in Mount Sinai, okay, so just north of Sharm, about an hour, and we're in the very, very touristy area of St. Catherine. We've been to the Saidi uh, monasteries and now we're going to the most famous one, St. Catherine, um, but I really do not like the tourist areas at all. Um, well, it's quite funny though, this is like a highly Christian area and you've got all the <laughs> Muslim Bedouins here just trying to get money from all the tourists and all their little shops, even charging a pound to go to the bathroom. So let's go inside to the for some Christian salvation, we need it. So here we are now walking of the mound to the monastery. We're just passing lots of filthy camels over there. John was really excited to see the uh, <laughs> camels. Shafiq, <laughs> Shafiq and Dudu are now loaded on Shafiq, ready to go up the mountain. Okay, now here we are outside and we're just about to enter in this small doorway. Right now you can see here the church that we've just been inside the main monastery. They won't let us film inside unfortunately. Um, but it's pretty much like one of the other monasteries we've been in. Well now this is labelled the treasure. Right here is a water pump. This is obviously the well. Right here we have the burning tree of Moses. This is the the famous part. This is the famous part of St. Catherine. This is the Moses burning tree, as you can see, which is in front of the church. We've just tried to go inside the uh, jewels place, um, which costs £25 per person. I tried to pay, he didn't have any change. So he said, You'll bring me £25. So I said, Sure, come on. And really, it doesn't even feel Christian here because there's so many Muslim people working here. Very different feeling to all the other monasteries we've been to. Right, and here we are outside. As you can see, this is the huge mountain up here. It's very famous that people come at one o'clock in the morning and climb the mountain and see the sunrise, which would be actually amazing. But I don't think it's very Christian at all. It's more like an adventure place here. Even the guides guiding the people around are Muslim. And as you saw when we were at the other monasteries, it was just completely, completely monks. It's purely Christian, no Muslim at all. So it just goes to show that this really is a tourist attraction opposed to a uh, place of spirituality, unfortunately. Okay, now here we are in one of my favourite places in the whole wide world. We're here in the town of Doha, which is just about one hour north of Sharm. And over the water here you can see Saudi Arabia. And then over this side is really the coral here. I don't know whether you can see where that goes really dark, but the coral here is amazing. The fish are just huge and there's loads of them. Um, in 2007 I lived here in this little hotel stroke hut thing for about a year, um, sorry for about a month so oh, lots of memories but all my old friends are not here which is a little bit sad but we're visiting anyway. Right we're now here on the a restaurant having a little drink, here's Shafi having his ice cream, <laughs> he's taking it from John. <laughs> Um, we're here in Dahab now, just the main downtown bit, and as you can see, there's some bathing restaurants all the way over this side. So we're just enjoying here, having a little drink before we go on to Sharm and the church tonight. Now we leave the Sunset Mountains behind. 